Hi, my name is Mohammed, and I'm Huawei Global Vice President for Wireless Networks and Cloud Core Marketing and Solutions. My main responsibility is regarding 5G inclusivity and also about mobile connectivity economics in general. My keynote tomorrow is about 5G empowering you. You as a consumer, as a business, and as a country willing to improve its economy and to put itself on the digital world leader's map. On that, I will talk about the core vision of 5G, especially for Asia here, as this market is characterized by larger scale deployment. It's also characterized by digital appetite. And don't forget the massive manufacturing for small, medium, large enterprises as well. Add to it the global political situation and also the ICT economy competition. So I will talk about 5G considerations and applications, also some recipe on how to get that done in a market like Asia. Certainly, 2018 was an inflection year for 5G because the standard got completed and there was plenty of proof of concept trials and commercial trials as well. But in 2019, Huawei has been delivering serious large scale 5G deployment powered by our powerful, simple, and efficient end-to-end -end 5G solutions, starting from business applications, terminals, RAN, core, transport. So Huawei powered about two-thirds of the current 36 life network, and we also shipped the more than 200,000 base stations. Now, looking at year 2020, I think we have to shift our focus to China market, and we're all looking forward the large scale deployment for 5G in China, which is actually will benefit the whole world. Not just about the size, it's about the innovation in the application of 5G in different industries, and that will really help the ecosystem in terms of the application, and also in terms of the prices for the terminals, specifically smartphone terminals. And you can see that actually reflected on Huawei theme in regarding 5G. It was 5G is now in 2018, and now it is 5G is on, but in 2020, I think it's all about gearing up for a profitable 5G. And on that, I invite you to come to Huawei Mobile Broadband Forum next month in Zurich to witness really unmatched 5G innovations and services. The rich experience of 5G and its key attributes and how it is adapted to the kind of application makes it support a really wide range of application in different segments. You can talk about consumer business, you can talk about home broadband, and also supporting industries. So for consumer business, I wanted to mention Korea market and how they gained about 2 million 5G subscribers in just four months. And how did they do that? By innovation in applications like cloud AR, VR, and things like Q+, Idle Life, and real professional sports like baseball. So that's from the consumer side. From broadband, we've seen the high adoption rate of fixed wireless access. Right now, we have about 20 networks deploying fixed wireless access and 5G. Huawei is powering the 13 networks of those. And that really provided uh, more revenue stream for the carriers. And also, it made them unleash another segment for fixed wireless access, which is VIP segment. And it enhanced the already the existing uh, 4G wireless to the X or WTTX. So providing deeper broadband uh, is very important for homes in terms of providing fast speed and the consistent speed as well. Now, talking about industry application, there is a wide range of industries that can be supported, but in Asia here, I am personally excited about 5G mine, 5G port, uh, 5G airport as well. So why are those applications that are key? Because the street benefits on how to enhance the productivity and also it, in, it, it saves the people life in applications like 5G mine as well. So, so those wide range of application and industry make 5G unique and they make it much more different from 4G applications.
So, of course, 5G will enable a better digital world. But remember, it is not just about 5G. It's, 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 it's about the basket that's full of transformative technologies. You have to talk about 5G, AI, cloud, mobile edge computing, and the IoT as well. So 5G enhanced the, gave the AI a lot of applications, and the AI also pushed the, the boundaries for 5G in terms of having better 5G. So, so all of those together, they come together, interact, to come up with plans for countries. So the vision actually in, for Huawei, when we talk about better uh, digital world, it's about having intelligent connectivity. It's about focusing on society, technology, industries, and also economies. And while we are focusing on those, we are focusing on them on un, um, an undistracted environment away from politics and trades and all of those things. So we returned here as a headline sponsor in that, uh, in that event, actually for two reasons. The first reason, Asia market is a really big, important market, not just for Huawei, for 5G in general. That's number one. And number two, I think in this event, the key 5G value chain players are gathered here in a very collaborative environment. And if you get those uh, attendees in a very well-designed program, I think that will enhance the innovation and it also provide a very collaborative platform for everybody to contribute, which is actually very important, at least from Huawei perspective. One-stop, informative 5G Asian shop.